Rahul walks to his school, which is five hundred meter from his home in ten minutes. Find his average speed if he goes and comes back to and from school in twenty minutes. What is his average velocity? So basically, you are told that Rahul is a person. I guess this is not a correct color to use. Who goes to his school? The distance is. 500 meter one way which he covers in 10 minutes right rahul walks to his school which is 500 meter from his home in 10 minutes find his average speed so average speed is equal to total distance upon total Time. Now you can take either of these parameters. You know that he covered 500 meters in 10 minutes. 500 meter in 10 minutes. But the speed has to be written as meter per second, or you can write it as 500 meter upon 10 into 60. 1, 2, 1, 2. So 5 upon 6 meter per second or you can write this as 0 0.833 meters per second so the average speed of Rahul is 0 0.833 meters per second this was the first part of the question if he goes and comes back to and from school in 20 minutes so now what happened is he went to the school and he came back and it took the total time as 20 minutes what was the total distance he covered 500 meter plus another 500 meter coming back okay so the total distance now traveled is 1000 meter but do we have to do something about it no we need to find out average velocity what is this average velocity now average velocity is considered as displacement upon time taken. Now if you see the time taken is how much? 20 minutes. So you can write it as 20 into 60 seconds. But what is the displacement here? I mean he started from his house. and he came back here only so the displacement is actually zero okay which means that even the velocity is zero meter per second why because the displacement in this particular case was zero <coughs> 